by the end of this video you will be able to solve domain function involving quadratic at the denominator among different types of domain and range questions seen in the exam which we are going to solve in subsequent videos when you have solved this problem then you are going to choose one of the options the first thing you are going to realize is that you are asked to find the domain of this function however what does this mean this literally mean that there is a part of this function that is going to cause problem for us that is it's going to cause this function to stop existing to understand whether if is going to be at the numerator or denominator let's consider some basic rules in 2 x can take 0 at the numerator however in 1 0 is not allowed at the denominator 0 at the numerator of any number is not a problem it will return 0 however 0 at the denominator of any number is a problem it tends to infinity this stops or terminates a function even an equation since 0 is not allowed at the denominator we are going to solve this function here a quadratic function then write a condition to avoid getting 0 at the denominator hence getting 0 at the numerator is not a problem then we need to solve only the denominator next we solve for the quadratic function at the denominator only here x must not have 0 at the denominator in this solution whenever x takes 3 here you are going to get 0 and whenever minus 2 gets in here for x we are also going to get 0 this means that when x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 3 the equation will terminate but every other number on this number line including those in between can come in for x and the answer can be rewritten as one of the answer is all real number except minus 2 and 3 this answer is represented in a set notation considering the interval notation where you have minus infinity to infinity using the interval notation this can be written as we're going to place the negative infinity at this end and the positive infinity at the other end and in between we are going to write the condition that must not come in for x to cause this equation to terminate the x at the numerator is not a problem as long as x does not take minus 2 and 3 this function will continue using set notation this is our answer or using interval notation this is equally an answer the only option that satisfies the equation is e hence we're going to choose this option and the reason why this answer is in three sets is because it is quadratic other types of questions have different representation of the solution which we are going to see in subsequent videos let us solve other topics in function in precalculus you can use the link on the screen to locate and assess other videos i will see you in the next video